Hey fellow humans and welcome back. I am SS and in today's video I wanted to talk about my switch to Linux. It has been about a month now since I started using Linux as my primary desktop operating system. And I'll talk about why I wanted to switch to Linux, my experience with Linux in the past month and why I think this is way better than my previous OS. So without further ado, let's begin. I have been a Windows user my entire life. When I was first getting into computers and tech, I started out with Windows 7 and that was an amazing operating system. And I never really saw the need to switch to anything like Linux or even Windows 10. But uh, this changed when Microsoft stopped giving support and security updates to Windows 7 and I could not risk using it anymore. So about a year ago, after Microsoft dropped support, I upgraded to Windows 10 and for a few days it was really good but as time went on, issues started cropping up. The first thing was it was a tad bit slower compared to Windows 7. I did not think much about it until I opened Task Manager one day and realized the sheer amount of unnecessary background processes running. The next issue was that it was completely bloated with unnecessary apps like mail, calendar and the Xbox gaming stuff. And another thing I noticed was this weird power struggle between old Windows apps like Control Panel and new Windows apps like Settings. I still see no point as to why the system settings have to be separated like this. But who am I to question the Microsoft devs? So after a year of using Windows 10, I finally decided to switch to Linux. Now, Linux is a completely free and open source kernel, but there are many flavors of operating systems based on this Linux kernel. These are called as distributions or distros. Each of these distros also comes with a desktop environment. Think of a desktop environment as the UI which you use to interact with the operating system. I will make a separate video talking about distros and desktop environments in some time so make sure you press the bell icon to be notified when that comes out. For my switch to Linux, I finally ended up choosing Linux Mint. It is based on Ubuntu which is arguably one of the most popular Linux distro outside the Linux community. But I ended up choosing this over Ubuntu as Linux Mint might be based on Ubuntu but it comes with the Cinnamon desktop environment which has similar UI elements compared to Windows like a taskbar and a start menu. I thought this would be easier for my transition but I actually ended up hating it as I never really liked the Windows UI at all. Now, a good thing about Linux is that it is highly customizable. If I did not like a desktop environment, I could simply install a new one and choose whichever one I boot into while logging in. This was mind boggling to me. So after installing Linux, I pulled up the terminal and installed the GNOME desktop environment. Now GNOME is not for everyone and most people actually don't like it. But contrary to what I thought, I actually liked it very much and it is my current daily driver. I also tried installing KDE Plasma, another Windows like desktop environment but a bit more cleaner and modern. Although I could not get KDE to work properly for some reason, I still liked its icons and cursor themes compared to GNOME's. So using an app called GNOME Tweaks, I used the GNOME environment with the KDE icons and cursors. Uh, I will make an in-depth Linux customization video later where I explain how you can install desktop environments and customize them. Now you might have heard me mention something called the terminal a few minutes back. Well, that is one of the main advantages of the Linux OS. You can think of the terminal as a command prompt equivalent in Linux, but it is much more than that. The main feature that Linux has built in, which Windows and even Mac OS doesn't have, is called a package manager. For example, if I was using Windows and I had to install a program, I would go to a website, download the exe file, go through a few steps to install it and then run it. But with Linux, I can simply open the terminal, type sudo apt get whatever software I want and it will install automatically. So a package manager simplifies the process of installing software by archiving huge amounts of software packages which it can then install at your command. Now the same package manager can also be presented in the form of a software store with a graphical user interface. Now coming to software. A lot of people have the misconception that software is a huge problem when you switch to Linux as you wouldn't be able to install all the software that you use day to day like Microsoft Office, Photoshop, etc. But there are many other open source alternatives like LibreOffice, GIMP and much more. 
For me, this wasn't that big of an issue as most of the software I used on Windows was available for Linux. Programs like Spotify, Discord, Microsoft Teams, Zoom are all compatible with Linux. So after a month with Linux, I am firmly convinced that I might never switch back to Windows as I don't really need to anymore. For me, the past month was an eye opener as to what Linux is really capable of. All right, so that was my experience with Linux. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe and also turn on the notifications if you don't want to miss my upcoming videos about Linux and everything else. Until next time, live long and prosper.